This is the Hollyland Lark Max and this is a professional grade studio quality wireless microphone system and here's why I think this is the best true wireless microphone kit on the market. Let's get into it. So in the box you get this nice carry case that everything comes in, you can store all of your cables inside the zip pocket just there and the charging case in there. You have yourself the unit, we'll go into the design in a second, TRS cable for your camera, you have an iPhone lightning cable to USB-C to connect by the transmitters, you also have the USB-A to USB-C charging cable for the case and a USB-C to USB-C cable that you can use for your Android phones or even your laptops. This will also work with the new iPhone 15 lineup with the USB-C ports. Then you have two wind muffs. In addition, I also have the omnidirectional lavalier microphones by Hollyland and I will be giving you a sample audio test using the lavalier mic in addition to using it wireless. In each of these packets, you also get your own wind sleeve for the lav mic and the 3.5 millimeter lav mic itself with a little metallic clip. First, let's take a look at the design. You can see this is a very heavy duty, durable rubber and silicone charging case with some LED indicators there on the front, some rubber grips on the bottom. Let's open it up. This is probably one of the nicest designs wireless microphones I've seen in a very long time and I'm really impressed with the build quality on this. Let's take a look at both the transmitters and the receiver. So looking at the transmitter, you can see there's a LED indicator just there on the front. You've got yourself a very high quality microphone just on the top. At the back, you have yourself the belt clip, the cold shoe mount, and you also have this magnetic attachment that's a very strong magnet. You can actually place this behind your top and connect this via magnet so you can reposition it on your shirt wherever you like. And I really like this feature when it comes to wireless microphones. Just on the side, you have yourself the microphone port there if you want to connect your lavalier microphone. You have a power button, then you have the pairing and the active noise cancellation button that you can switch on by pressing that. And just on the left hand side, you have yourself a record button. This has internal storage on there, which you can actually record directly onto this and transfer using the USB-C to USB-C cable directly to your laptop as an external USB drive. So you just hold this down for a few seconds and the red light underneath this will turn on. Then you can start recording this without any connections with the receiver on any other device, which I think is a very good option if you don't want to connect this to any camera and you just want to do a little bit more freedom recording or even podcasting or just have it as a backup recording when you are using this with your camera. Now taking a closer look at the receiver, this is a 1.1 inch AMO LED screen. It is a touch screen and I really like the design of this. As you can see, there's live monitoring of your audio. You can see microphone number one and two listed there. Then you can see both the battery percentages and the charging case percentage just there on the top right. So there's lots of options that you can adjust. So if you just press down the menu button here, you can cycle through by just using the wheel. So you can actually select the record mode. So if we go into this, you can set it from stereo, mono or safety track. If you want to go back, you just press the button there, cycle through. Let's take a look at some of the mic settings. You can change the mic gain here. I'm going to test this on, let's say, gain level five for both of the microphones as a good starting point. You can also set this to auto record. You can set it to automatically turn off, which I do recommend. So if you just leave it down on the side and no one is speaking into it or recording on it, after 15 minutes, it will turn off and save battery. Then you can change the LED brightness of this screen. And then you can also check the storage option just there. Each transmitter has 14 hours of storage in there for recording time. And you can also format any one of these at any time if you'd like to. If you do end up recording more than 14 hours, if you let's say go into the 15th hour, this will then overlap and do loop recording and it will start recording over the beginning sections of the storage. Next, let's take a look at the phone speaker. I've always set this to on, which is always useful when you do connect this to your phone. You have the EQ settings that you can make adjustments for. So you can do vocal boost, low cut, or hi-fi. Hi-fi is the default, so I will start recording on that. And then you have some system settings that you can go into. So if you want to do the pairing from here, you can do that. Change the brightness of this screen. Upgrade the firmware. Change the date, so you can date stamp your recordings. And then change the time, the language factory reset all of the microphones and just see more of the system information of this wireless microphone system. And also just from the home screen here, if you tap the menu icon just on the right, 
these are the settings for the mic so you got mic one here i can tap each of these to turn the audio on and off mute myself and then start the recording from there directly and if i cycle and i can do the same thing for microphone number two so there's lots of different options it just makes this really good and easy to use when you are setting this up for your filming so just on the left you have yourself the trs connection for your camera and then you have the power button and on the right you have yourself the headphone monitoring port so you can get someone to monitor the audio if it's coming out very clear then the usb-c port to connect this to any one of your devices then you have yourself the cold shoe mount just there at the bottom so these are a very nice set of wireless mics let's go ahead and take a look at some of the key specs so starting off, these are studio quality audio wireless microphone kits. Now you can see from this screenshot, this has a 70 decibel signal to noise ratio, 48 kilohertz and 24 bit depth sampling rates and 128 decibels maximum sound pressure levels. These are also built with something called Max Timber Mic technology, which is actually an industry first because that gives you very high quality outputs when you do play back your audios in post-production. Now speaking of the noise cancellation feature, this inhibits professional advanced ENC and what that does is gives you low distortion environmental noise cancellation and I will be testing this out in various different scenarios so I will head outdoors, try out the noise cancellation to see how much of the background it can drown out. And as I mentioned, there's 14 hours of internal recording with an 8GB onboard storage for each of the transmitters. This has a very long 250 meter transmission range. And of course, this needs to be in an open area in a straight line of sight just to be interference free. But this is going to be very considerable for 99.9% .9 of the audience that would like to use this for outdoor filming. In terms of battery life, this has 22 hours of battery life, including the charging case. So you can charge it up and it will give you a lot of power very quickly. Individually, each of the transmitters and receivers will give you about seven and a half hours of continuous recording, which I think is great. And the fast charging of the case can charge it fully within up to two hours, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And finally, this is not just compatible for your cameras. Like I mentioned, there's accessories for your iPhone, for your Android, and also connections for your laptop. So Windows or Mac, you can easily transfer and record audios pretty much with any device. Okay, so let's go ahead with sound tests. Just as a caveat, I recommend that if you do have some headphones, try to listen to these sound tests with some headphones in, just so you get a better idea of how clear these sound. So right now, up until this point, you've been hearing my audio coming from my shotgun microphone just off the screen to the right here. So I'm now going to switch over and use this microphone, which I've set to mono audio and gain level five. Now this is the audio coming directly from the Lark Max connected to my top here. You can see from my shirt, I've kind of positioned it sideways to go inside the button sections of my top. So ideally I would position it at the top of my shirt. So we're gonna try different positions to see how clear it maintains. And I'm also going to be trying out the magnetic clip as well and see how that performs. So let me know what you guys think of this audio. I'm now going to reposition this. Now, if you don't have a shirt that has any buttons or slots to use the belt clip, you may end up putting this at the top of your shirt like this, and it kind of sits underneath your chin. It blocks a little bit of the audio with not just this, but any microphone when you do position it around here. I always prefer to have it a little bit lower down so it gets more clear audio directly coming from my mouth straight into the microphone. But nonetheless, I felt like this is also very clear and I'm not getting any distortion, any lossless audio or anything like that when I am playing back the audio files from this. So now I'm going to try and use the magnetic clip and place the magnet behind my shirt and see if the audio improves a little bit more. So now I have the magnetic clip just behind my top on this position. It's a little bit lower down and I feel like if I am speaking naturally, the audio will be picked up a little bit more clearly from that position rather than directly underneath my chin. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think of the audio? Is it very clear? I'm really, really impressed with this. This is very heavy duty, durable, quality, professional, broadcast type audio that I'm getting from it. And Hollyland, I've always been a big fan of their products. I've got a wide range of their previous microphone reviews that I'll list in a playlist in my description of this video. But let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna test this obviously in more different scenarios so you can get an idea of multiple different situations with the sound tests. But one thing I also want to do now is to connect the wired lavalier mic to this and see how much of a difference that makes. I've seen people that prefer having something a little bit lightweight and to be able to clip it to their shirt 
of course you would need to feed the wires from underneath your shirt and make sure it's in the appropriate position but once you have that you should be able to also get very clear audio so let me go ahead and make that switch now okay so you can see i've got the transmitter connected to the wired lavalier microphone i'm feeding that from underneath my top and clipping it just on the shirt over here let me know what you guys think of the audio using a wired microphone is it just as clear as the wireless one or do you hear a slight difference whichever the scenario you can also use this outdoors with the wind sleeve and you can also use the noise cancellation button as well to drown out some of the background audios if you do have a noisy environment but the fact that you have so many different options of connectivity with these microphones it pretty much covers every single scenario that you would need for your filming and if i wanted to connect this to my phone to my laptop even and use this to take meetings over zoom or teams and apps like that then i can also connect this to my macbook using the usb-c cable and use this as my microphone for the other people to hear me on so i'm really really impressed with this and i want to showcase maybe a couple more scenarios so what i'm going to do now is switch back to the wireless mic take the lavalier off and then try stereo audio okay so now this is an audio test with the gain to its maximum level 10 and you can see i've got the transmitter a little bit lower down on my top using the magnetic clip again you can also twist this and reposition it how you like so let me know if you guys can hear the difference between mono and stereo audio is it a lot more clearer using stereo mode and if you really, really are in a noisy environment, then you may want to put it up to gain level 10, maybe turn on the noise cancellation and really use this to make sure your vocals are heard, which for whatever you're filming. So the next thing I want to try is the noise cancellation feature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn a fan on just behind me and I'll place it a little bit closer to me as well. I'll leave the noise cancellation off, which is indicated by the blue light just on the transmitter. When I press the noise cancellation button, the light will turn green and you guys can try it and see and hear if it drowns out a lot of the background noise from the fan. So let's go ahead and try that now. Okay, so I have my tower found here. I've got noise cancellation turned off. So I'm gonna turn this on and you guys will be able to hear the noise coming from this. Now try to keep a listen out for the wind coming from this fan. So as I'm speaking, you can still hear me quite clearly, even though you'll still be able to hear this in the background. But a good test is, especially when you're working in a studio and it gets quite warm, you may have a fan or an air conditioner on and it's always going to be picked up by really high quality microphones and you don't want that to be there when you transfer your audio over when you start doing your editing. And I've had that situation many times. So now let me go ahead and press the noise cancellation button and see how much of this gets drowned out. So there we have, the green light is on, the noise cancellation has been enabled and can you hear a lot of the fan noise still coming through or has it gone a lot lighter this is really good for trying to just pick out your vocals so you don't miss any of your important speeches that you're making during your filming. And I've had situations in the past where I've done a lot of filming with this fan on in the background just because the room was very warm during the summer and it was picked up in my entire background of the video just because the noise cancellation option for the microphone that I had just didn't exist. So that's why it's really important to have something like this. So no matter if you're working in hot or cold conditions, you can be sure that this will cover every type of scenario. So I've had a playback of this as well, and I'm quite impressed of how much of this fan noise it does eliminate when I turn this feature on. And I think that's absolutely great. There's been a lot of situations where using noise cancellation features like this have kind of jumbled up my vocals as well a little bit, just because of the algorithm it uses to process your audio and to eliminate background noise. But this has done a very good job at doing that with really maintaining studio like quality audio. So now let's go ahead and do another test, maybe using the wind muffs outdoors to see how much of the road noise, the cars, the traffic, people in the background and the wind in the atmosphere it can eliminate. Let's go ahead and see that now. All right guys, now I'm outdoors. I have the wind muff on the microphone here and you can see behind me there's actually quite a busy road. There's a lot of cars driving by and you may be able to hear that quite clearly. The wind muff on its own does a pretty good job eliminating a lot of the environmental noise. And as you can see, I've got the gate now opening and that's also making a little bit of noise so you can get a lot of the car noise coming into my microphone. 
So let's go ahead and test out how good the noise cancellation is with a very busy road like this. So now the noise cancellation is turned on and I really wanted to showcase a lot of the noise coming in. It's wide and open here. So you can probably hear it's eliminated quite a lot of the car noises. And that's really great when you are going to be filming outdoors near busy roads, for example. This is going to be perfect for any type of scenario when you are outdoors and you're gonna get a lot of noise maybe from people in a busy shopping area or even your near roads. This is going to be perfect. So in combination with the wind muff and the noise cancellation turned on, this gives me very good vocals coming through on my audio. Of course, when I'm out here, it's still noisy for me, but when I do transfer the audio over to my laptop and start editing, I know it's going to be really good and crystal clear to still hear everything that I'm saying. But let me know what you guys think down below. Okay, so hopefully you found all of those sound tests very useful. There's so many capabilities with this. I'm so impressed with the audio quality. I'm gonna be using this as my main microphone for everything. Connecting with my iPhone, connecting it with my laptop and using that as a wireless microphone. And of course, when I do a lot of filming outdoors or on location in different sets, this is the only microphone that I will be using. And I do consider this as the best wireless microphone kit on the market. Now, if there's anything else you want to know specifically about the capabilities of this, as always, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I have a full playlist of all the microphones that I reviewed in the past linked in my description. If you do want to go ahead and check any of those out, make sure to subscribe. New videos out every week, new tech, new gadgets, new tutorials. I know you're going to like that. Make sure to like this video and I'll catch you all at the next one. Take care.